Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be learning how to generate responsive code for your designs with Locofy. We'll be focusing on the responsiveness aspect of code generation. So if you want to learn more about other features of Locofy, such as how to turn static elements into actual working buttons, inputs, and more, do check out some of our other video links below. Here we have a sample home rental platform design, which we will be turning into responsive code. Let's see what that looks like. First, we'll select the completed design and click on Preview in the Locofy plugin. This opens up the preview window that runs on live code, interacts with elements like buttons and inputs, which you've tagged using Locofy. You can learn more about tagging in the links below. Now, let's see what happens when we resize the window you'll find that the elements adjust responsively so that it looks great on different screen sizes. This is important because you never know what kind of device or browsers your users will open your app on. Now, as we resize this even further, you'll find that the design snaps to a different layout that is suitable for a smaller screen size. Our elements have snapped down into two rows. We call this points at which the design snaps a breakpoint. There's another breakpoint further down as we shrink this design. You'll see that at mobile devices, our menu links have been replaced by a hamburger menu. And our inputs are now stacked vertically and are all at full width. Now let's learn how to accomplish this. We have a simple example here for demonstration purposes. In this design, we have an auto layout frame with an image on the left and some text on the right. Note what happens when we resize this on Figma. As you can see, the elements are not responsive. This is because we still need to decide and indicate how we want these elements to behave. Let's say we want this image to resize along with its parent. We can set this with constraint to fill container. Now watch what happens as we resize the frame. Our design is now looking responsive. Locofy automatically picks up all of the settings and constraints on your design to accurately generate code according to the behavior you have defined in Figma. So, as we open up the preview, you'll find that now our image is resizing along with the parent. What if we want both the image and the text to resize according to the parent frame? We can indicate our intention by also setting this group of text to fill container. Now, note on Figma that as we resize this, both the image and the text now resizes. We can preview this in Locofy. And you'll notice that this is also reflected on the Locofy plugin preview. As you can see, Locofy reads the Figma settings to understand how you want your elements to behave responsively and accurately reflects that in the generated code. Do note that these responsiveness settings, such as fill container, are only available when you have applied auto layout to your design. So in the next tutorials, we'll cover the basics of Figma auto layout and how you can easily add auto layout to your designs. Now we've seen that our designs are responsive. However, what happens when we shrink to an even smaller size like a tablet or mobile size? You'll see that the design starts to break down in Figma. Now, what we might like to do is to have these elements stack vertically instead of horizontally on a smaller device. In Figma, you can switch the direction like this. Now it looks much better on mobile. However, we want this to only happen on a certain screen size. On the default screen size, we still want this to stack horizontally. Now, how can we do this? we can achieve this desired behavior using the Locofy plugin. Let's head to the Locofy plugin. Now, this was the layer that we wanted to set 
to vertical on smaller screen sizes. So we'll go ahead and select it. Next in Locofy, we can tag this layer. For example, this is a container, so we can tag it as such. And once we have done so, we can now head to the Styling and Layouts tab. Here is where we can take care of responsiveness and how our design looks across different screen sizes. You'll see that we have tabs here corresponding to different screen sizes, such as 1200, 768, and 428, which match with desktop, tablet, and mobile sizes. In the next row of tabs, we can also take care of how our element looks in different states such as hover, press state, and so on, but this will be covered in a separate guide. Now, recall that we wanted this container to be stacked vertically instead of horizontally on a tablet size. In the default tab, you'll see that it's horizontal, which corresponds to the Figma value. Let's head to the 768 tab and switch this to vertical. What this means is that for screen sizes 768 pixels and below, the settings here will be applied instead, which is what we want. Let's hit preview. Now, as we have set up earlier, our design is responsive. And when we switch to 768 pixels, this container which we've now selected stacks vertically. Perfect. Once again, we call this width at which the design snaps to a different layout, a breakpoint. You can do this with all sorts of properties, not just the layout direction. For example, we have a very large padding suitable for desktop sizes over here. If we want less padding for a smaller device, we can also adjust it here. So we'll change the padding to a smaller number and now in the preview, you can also see that our changes are reflected on 768 pixel screens and below. One more useful tip. For our design, you might not want to have the design snap downwards at 768 pixels, which is the current breakpoint. Perhaps you'd like to change the breakpoint to something like 900 pixels. You can do so easily by hovering on the info icon then edit the breakpoint and click save. Now your design will snap at 900 pixels instead. You can also add additional breakpoints if required by clicking on the more tab. So to recap, Locofy reads your Figma settings and constraints to understand how you want your elements to behave responsively and accurately translates what you see in the Figma canvas when you resize your element into code. If you want to change certain properties of a layer on smaller devices, you can take care of that in the Locofy plugin. And for advanced users, you can also add custom CSS here to customize even more properties that are not supported on Figma. This approach also works for mobile frameworks like React Native so if you're building a mobile screen, what you see as you stretch and shrink your design is also how Locofy will generate the code for you. We hope this has been useful and in the upcoming videos, we'll cover the basics of auto layout and show you how you can easily apply it to your design. We'll also cover common use cases such as navigation bars, multi-column sections, and how to set it up. That's the end of this guide. Have fun building and launching faster with Locofy.